Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I want to welcome you back. This is Connie coming on today to share a quick project with you. It is a fall project. It could be used for any season or any type of uh, gift, depending upon obviously what you insert. And what I'm sharing with you is a sock gift wrap or packaging. I do want to thank Sherry from Craft Pray Repeat. This was her original idea. I'm going to share the link to at least one of her videos. She has one with how she designed it in Design Space for Cricut. And then I think she also did one, I'm almost positive, one just using dies and how you could cut it and stuff. So uh, I want to share that with you. But um, the paper piece I did do, I set this out of the way a moment. Excuse my voice. Uh, this is from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs. It is carving pumpkins. So if you are interested in that, I didn't do a paper piece on this. I did it quite late one night and just don't always have the opportunity to do the paper pieces. I apologize. I will try to get better at that. It does take some time, so, but I will try to start doing that with you. Can excuse my voice. I don't know what's going on today. <clears throat> and then I do have a bow that I made. And yeah, I do have the, I put two bow sets together. But I'll just take out what I did here. Excuse that noise. These are the two pieces I did use. I, these are from AliExpress. I just used these and what I did for this top piece was I just used the pens or my bone folder, not a pencil, but this is what's handy. And then I just, you know, curled my paper. Um, see if I can find a little scrap of paper I can share with you. So I hold it in the middle. So I hold it right here when it gets cut. And then I just take my bone folder and do it gently so you don't risk tearing because you know this little piece in the middle isn't too much for it to could tear easily. I'm sure you know that. But I just keep doing that and then when I put it down I just apply glue a little bit in the back and then just adhere it, you know, like this. So it's going to let's see if I can get it to fold the other side and you get a better idea. So it's gonna, you know, glue here glue in the middle, and glue over here. So if you need a tutorial on how I do that, you know, just let me know. I can share that with you. That's very simple to do. Whoa, noisy, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna try to stay in frame. I might be working somewhat sideways uh, just because it's easier to do. Do you want to let you know this uh, sentiment was stamped? It's from Jaded Blossom Stamps, the, one of the fall ones. These two little leaves are part of the Carving Pumpkins design. Excuse me. I did just run them through different uh, embossing folders just to give them a little texture. Even though they're small, it still gives them a lot of texture instead of just leaving them flat. I'm gonna get these socks out of here so I don't manage to get those all glue. There, uh, it's pumpkin, please. It was a fall set I had purchased. And I'm gonna set this aside for now. I wanna share this with you. Um, again, this is on Sherry's channel, all the dimensions and everything. I do did put a design space file together um, that if you're interested, You'll have to email me. I'll leave my email at the end. I can share that with you. I don't know if it's public or not. I apologize. And I know Sherry was having trouble getting hers public. Uh, so I did use tag bags, boxes, and more for the back piece. Uh, but you could design it with just Cricut basic shapes. I started out when it was still George and, base, uh, George and basic shapes, I think. And then that one that Cricut file, basically the cartridge was almost impossible to find at one point. 
But anyway, my initial size, mine is nine inches long. Might be a little bit smaller, I can't remember. Um, you can resize these also if you have like a child's pair of socks, you could resize it for that. Or she used fuzzy socks, so hers might be a little bit wider. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, I made mine, I think, a little bit smaller. I did this quite a while ago and I kind of put it away because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for the decoration. So I apologize, I don't remember exactly if I resized it again. Uh, but it's very easy to resize, just kind of play around with it. Uh, my inside piece, though, is about eight and uh, eight and five eighths, maybe eight and a half. It, not very good at measuring, so that's approximate. This piece, I just welded two pieces onto an oval. So overall, it's six inches long. These two side pieces are one inch squared and a half. They are three and a quarter inches long. This oval piece, I can only give you the insides because again, I welded it, but it's four inches wide and three and a quarter inches high. Then for this piece and this piece, I used some nestability dies that I have. I wasn't um, thinking about it. I should have done, before I welded my oval, I should have gotten some shadows or some pieces for the layering, and I didn't, but this, these fit perfectly. These are from the, goodness, these are very old too, you can't tell, uh, the petite scalloped ovals, small. And then I got the, uh, petite ovals small so they are nesting so they both layer together as long as it's the two smalls they're good so yeah those are those are some of the first dies I got when I got my original cuddle bug machine which has since died unfortunately I want to show you something I don't know how well this is going to pick up on camera just a little bit this paper was originally flat. You guys ask about my adhesive. This actually warped a good deal. When I put the foam on, I used our glitter glue. Now granted, this paper is really quite thin, okay? Then, this is Cartabella paper, and if you're familiar with that, it is a little heavier. This also warped. I can get it to go flat again when I put them back together, but I just wanted to share with you. That is why I personally use Beacon a lot for bigger pieces and actually for foam. And my sister found this foam and adhesive, adhesive, oh gosh, hello, foam and poster board adhesive at the Dollar Tree. It works wonderful for foam tag board, heavier cardstock. Um, I use it for regular cardstock too. I love it. I'm not advertising for Beacon. I'm not paid by them for any, you know, anything to um, advocate on their behalf for their products. I'm just, I had some questions, so I thought I would share and tell us, tell you what I was, my reasoning, you know, what I was doing. So I'm going to just go ahead and get these pieces layered. I wanna get my pieces layered on here and then I will put everything together. And should I have the glue going again, I apologize. I think I'm gonna use the other glue since I'm working with foam. And hopefully this one doesn't, yeah, it's gonna fall where I wanted to put it. I got something, brought a package, I got it upstairs which it was, well, for me, anything bulky or a little bit heavy is hard to move. Went to open it and dropped the box. I was so mad. What I was doing this morning, I'm having a lot of problems again, trying to hold on to things. So people probably think I'm a little bit slow, but, um, you know, Mentally, I just can't hang on to things, so it looks weird when I have to 
pick up things and do stuff. So I'll go through that first. A fun full or well, what would I want to say? The yarn stuff in a moment. I just want to hold this for a moment to make sure it adheres well. Beacon does adhere quite quickly, this foam tape or foam the adhesive for foam and poster board takes just a little bit longer. So, okay. I put two layers. I took of some of this, I don't know what it's called. Uh, there's a name for it, but it's like this the eyelash trim. The f there's more with it, but anyway, I took two pieces. Put it together around the back. I used uh, fabric fix to keep it on. It went on really quickly. So I just wanted to give it a little bit more dimension and texture there. Kind of reminds me of like straw or hay, not hay, hay's green. <laughs> I've finally gotten that straight. I'm not a farm girl. Uh, but like straw sticking out or you know and how mice will start getting into things. If you're not familiar with that, you're very lucky. Um, but they start pulling stuff apart, making nests and... I won't tell you the stories about... I've only had to experience mice just a handful of times in my life, thank goodness. But that was uh, way too many times. So not a fan of rodents. It's probably why I don't like bats, because they're just, to me, flying mice. And, yeah, I don't like most crickets, or little bugs and stuff, spiders. I can finally handle them now. Not crickets yet too much. Or grasshoppers. Ugh. I'm just layering, layering on this on. Um, my brown oval piece is just, you know, probably a little bit larger. I should have had maybe one more layer because I like my layers closer together. And that's part of the reason I just added some of this uh, eyelash trim just to kind of add some dimension also. Now before I put the rest of my pieces on, I want to go ahead and get this adhered. So. This does not go on yet. You actually will put this on and this half inch piece is going to get butted up to the edge here. So like that. Sherry went up about two and a half inches, I believe. And I think when I measured that, that was pretty good amount. Let me just kind of see once here where we're at. I'm gonna go I'm going to put mine at two inches. I just, like I said, I don't remember. It's a personal preference. I'm just marking here, so my two inches, and I'm marking it in a bit. So I get straight when I put it on. And again, you're only going to put adhesive up to the first score line. This adhesive has more of an odor than any of the adhesives I've used. I don't know what the difference is, so I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so I'm just going to fold mine in half so I can make it work better. And I'm lining it up to my two inch mark there. And I'm lining it up here. Okay, so the first score mark is lined up to the side. It's two inches up. And of course, I don't have my bone folder out, so I'm using the acrylic side if you're wondering of my ruler. I excuse my reach. I will need my bone folder for the other side. Okay. Now 
You still don't want to put this piece in. You're going to just put it in later because you want this on top of this half inch piece, okay? So you'll be able to get it in. Even if you use tape, you'll still be able to get it in there. So again, just putting glue up to the half inch mark. I apologize. I'm trying to stay in frame the best I can here. I don't have a lot of working room. And what I'm doing is basically folding this back a moment so I can see where I get this straight as possible. So again, marking at the two inch line there. Lining it up at the side over here. And getting it glued down good. And then it's just a matter of gluing this in. Believe it or not, this is all from the same paper line. It just may not uh, exactly look it, but it is. Just want to make sure I get enough adhesive on the edges here, mostly, so I can get it. Just make sure it sticks good. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is actually quite, well, it's not really chilly, chilly. It looks, uh, it's nicer than it looks. It's very dark and dreary, very gloomy, but no rain or anything. It's just, so me thinking, oh, it's chilly out there. I go out with my jacket on and prepared for it to be really cold. <laughs> what a big mistake. Okay, so under here, I'm just gonna bring my ruler in. Excuse me. All right. Guess my bone folder's not very long. It's old, but it works. So I just keep it. Okay, I want to put my, get a hold of things. My flower on my bow on next. Oh, and I forgot to mention the flower is from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Just using up things in my stash before I consider buying anything new. I'm putting my bow up quite high. Um, just so it does stick and that the flower, or the, excuse me, the uh, socks have room because these socks have a tag at the top that, um, that the other, that Sherry's didn't have. So you could take that off if you wanted, but I didn't want people to think that, that I was giving them used socks. So, Just going to hold this down a moment, put the lid on the glue first. If that doesn't stick good, I will come back and put it on. I've also, I think I mentioned this, I've used like the beacon and art glitter glue together. The art glitter glue will grab hold right away pretty much whereas the um, beacon takes a little bit longer so at least you have something holding it right away so now what i'm doing is just putting some glue on my leaves here and these are cut at about well, the way Cricut figures it out, it's going to be an inch and a quarter because it's going to go from the very tip to the very tip of the uh, other end of the leaf, the stem. Not sure what you call it. It's really not a stem because it's not a flower, but it's still part of the leaf. I can only tell you that flower, excuse me, that leaf went through like a Swiss dot folder, I have no idea what this one went through. Really don't. 
I'm gonna put these on before I put attach this, but do what works for me. This is up on a lower uh, layer of foam tape. I forgot to mention that. The very first layer is, and then this one also is. So it's like three layers here I'm working with. And yes, I put a little bit of foam on the tail uh, just so it didn't flap too bad and only where it's going to catch on the paper. So if you're wondering, I should have come on and done this before for Easter, but I didn't have any Easter socks. Um, but it'll all work out or be just fine. Make sure I get this on halfway straight. Lately I can't. I'm gonna go with that. I can't get things straight. I don't know what the deal is, but all right. I was gonna say, I know I put a stamped sentiment there. I'm just going to put, that's popped up on foam tape also, and I'm only putting glue on the bottom half simply because it's not going to get, um, I'm going to put this at an angle, but the whole thing isn't going to be sticking on the, um, the oval pieces, so. Okay. I'll probably turn this sideways here in a minute. I'm going to put the socks in so you can see the finished design. Easier to put the socks in from the bottom, by the way. Uh, just a little hint there. Yeah, see, her socks didn't have this top piece on it, so I'm just going to tuck those in a little bit, and then they will fit. And, yeah, I'm going to... Pardon my squeaky chair there, but I just want to make sure that you could see it finished. And that is it. Thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day.